Hi guys, my name is Kyle. I'm with KarateMart.com. Uh, we decided that every Wednesday we're going to start showcasing some of the new weapons that we have um, because some of our customers want to see a little bit closer detail of some of the weapons we're carrying. Uh, so I thought I'd do that today. So I just grabbed three weapons from the back. I haven't really looked at them yet. I have a brief description of them, um, but we'll kind of look at them together to see how they are. So. All right, this is the first weapon I have. It's the Professional Black Vented Volley Song. So it comes in a box like this, and it looks like this. Um, now, I love butterfly knives. I always have loved butterfly knives. Um, and there's some that are really well made, and then there's some that, uh, you know, kind of fall apart a little bit easier. Uh, this one, I can tell already, is, is really well made. It's, uh, it uses rivets instead of screws here um, because often the screws will get unscrewed over time when you're playing with them. Um, I also really like the weight on this guy. This is, uh, I'm gonna guess this is probably about six ounces, seven ounces. Um, so a fairly, fairly hefty as far as butterfly knives go, um, but, not, uh, but not too heavy. So you can actually, you can actually do some things with it, you know. Um, I like how it's vented along the sides. Uh, the blade is actually fairly sharp. It's, uh, it says it's 440 stainless steel on it, um, and it's black. I like that, so, uh, you know, just looks cool. Um, and uh, so, yeah, overall, I really think this is a good butterfly knife. Um, I'm excited that we're selling it because um, I want to carry some really good high-quality butterfly knives, and this is one I really like. So, again, this is the Professional Black Vented Bali Song. You can find it on KarateMart.com. Okay. All right, and just realize this is our first video, so there's gonna be a lot of things we wanna change over time. So if you guys have any suggestions for how we can make this video better in the future, just put them in the comments below. Uh, also, if you have any weapons you specifically want us to review, uh, put that in the comments below, and then we'll read them, and then maybe next week we'll do that. So the next weapon I have is the Damascus Steel Kunai Ninja Sword. Um, so let's open this sucker up and see how it looks. Okay. It's got a pretty nice little scabbard. Um, I guess what's cool about these swords is there's a couple of things. These swords come with a couple of little kunai throwing knives. Um, it's got that Damascus design on it. Um, that's not real Damascus steel. That's definitely probably a stainless steel, um, but uh, it's got that Damascus design that everybody likes on it. So, and then as far as weighting goes, that's, that's actually balanced pretty nicely so that if you were gonna throw it, that'd probably stick pretty well. Um, it's a little small as far as throwing knives go and as far as kunais go. Um, but I honestly think I could stick this pretty well if I wanted to. So that's kind of cool. And the main thing that I like about these specific style of swords is that uh, they're full tang. So it's all one giant piece of metal that goes all the way through. So, you know, a lot of the swords that we carry and other companies carry um, have a handle where the sword blade only comes about halfway through and it's considered a half tang sword. And um, the problem with that is if you hit them hard enough, the sword will break out of the handle. Whereas these guys, they're pretty difficult to break because it's one solid piece of steel. So again, it's uh, I'm gonna guess this is probably a 440 stainless steel, um, but it's got that Damascus design on it to make it look cool. Um, what I also like about this is it has a Tonto blade to it, um, so it's really good for stabbing. Kind of a typical kind of ninja styling sword that you see a lot um, with that Tonto blade. It's also got the venting uh, just to make it look cool. Um, and, it's, and it's even got the little kunai ring at the end to kind of match with the kunai knives, so that's pretty neat. Um, as far as weight goes, it's um, I don't know, let's see, this is, uh, the sword's weight is 12 ounces, so fairly light. Um, I could definitely wield that pretty well. 
pretty quickly. Um, it's a pretty sweet sword, actually. I like it. If you guys have any questions, uh, let us know in the comments below. Um, but overall, I like that sword. All right, and then the last thing, the last thing I have is the Urban Combat Baton. And this is a brand new item that we just started carrying. It's pretty cool. We, we carry a lot of batons. Um, we've been selling batons for years and I've never actually seen one like this. So I was pretty excited when we started carrying it. Um, okay, so if you look at this, it's got kind of like a honeycomb design to it. Um, this is a rubberized grip. Uh, it's actually that design fits right in between your fingers. So it's a really nice, sturdy design. Um, this feels really hefty. Um, I mean, most batons are fairly heavy, but this one feels like really good quality when you hold it in your hand. So I'm, I'm actually really excited by this. It's different though. Most batons have kind of like a cone shape at the end. This one's got this glass breaker tip on the end, which is different from any baton I've really ever seen before. It's got the little tiny, like semi point on the end. Um, the handle, the pommel just feels nice and solid. Like, man, you could really, you know, <laughs> do some damage with that. And then, I don't know if you could hear that, but that just sounded way more solid and sturdy than other batons that I've used before. Um, so yeah, you can tell this thing, it's, uh, I mean, that's solid. That's a good hardened steel baton. Um, that's going to last you a while. So I, I really like this baton. Um, and then to close it, you just hammer it into the ground and then it's closed again. So, um, a lot of people question how to close batons. Uh, whenever you're closing them, you never want to close them at any sort of angle. It has to be straight down, um, just to make them close easy. But, uh, yeah, I really like this baton. It's cool. So, yeah, if you guys have any questions, uh, definitely put a comment below. Uh, feel free to call us anytime, um, and uh, we'll see you next week.